But during all these 20 years, I, I have been collaborating with our colleagues and friends. They are now our, my friends, actually, from, from the Laboratoire Le Prince Ranguet. And I have to say that these colleagues here, they are among the best experts in their field in the world. When I think of mechanics, I think of all the great French mechanicians, uh, Lagrange, uh, you know, Monge, uh, D'Alembert, etc., etc. So, uh, uh, you know, and, and here at the Ecole, uh, I, I have a, a very good friend in the, in the uh, solid mechanics department, uh, Nick Triantifilidis, and so that's my connection with this place. I've always come regularly back to Ecole Polytechnique. I already had given a seminar here. I always give seminar in uh, Orsay or GIF. So I, I have a lot of collaborators and friends in the Paris Sud area, and I think this is going to continue. It's going to actually continue in very specific terms because with Marc Gray, we've started a few collaborations. Uh, I'm going to write a grant at the end of the year where he'll be a collaborator. So I think this is a start of a collaboration and I'm sure I'll come back for visits. And the students are rather mixed here. They, they come from uh, many other countries. One of the courses that I taught, uh, Nonlinear Elasticity, I have not had the great pleasure of teaching now since I left the mechanics department at Cornell. Uh, the other one, uh, bifurcation theory, um, it's more of an applied math uh, class. It has a math slant, and uh, the best student in that class was uh, Professor Triantifilidis himself. <laughs> Actually, it was fun to teach the, the polytechnic students because they are quite different from the regular biology students, and I had to really think on how to make them, to engage them, and because they don't know anything, but they think quickly. So I had to, find, to change my course to make them reason, starting low but going high, and that was kind of a lot of fun to do. One thing that did happen as a consequence of the master's level course is I am supervising a student uh, in, in his research project. It's been very weird to go back on campus, so uh, I go back, when I come from the RER, I see my room there, it's really weird, but um, I think it was interesting for two reasons, for a few reasons. One was um, a lot of things have changed and the one thing that changed the most is the internationalization of the school. Now when I was here a long time ago, uh, only French was spoke, spoken on campus. Now you hear every language constantly, you hardly hear any French. In our field of science, and now actually all the sciences are interdisciplinary and, and we have to work in, in big groups. So you have to share your knowledge and, the, the, and we have to be open to sharing the knowledge with everybody and we have to work in collaboration to each other. And I think in our field of science, which is the high energy physics, I think that we are among the best in the world because our collaboration, for example, the collaboration that I'm working in, it, it has more than 3,000 scientists from, from I, I think, 40, 40 countries in the world. And interacting with Marc Gray and his students, uh, I think was a, uh, I'm going to have a meeting this afternoon because uh, we have some in interesting results that are coming and this is, he's a brilliant researcher and I'm sure we're going to continue working together. For example, in a small episode, during the Nobel Prize ceremony for the, for the professors Higgs and Engler, the, 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 they accorded the Nobel Prize to them. The only graph that has been shown in that ceremony is the actual graph which, which was made here at the Cold Polytechnic by our colleagues. So this is really a renowned place for, for, for this field of science.